This video is about how to make your own movie wheel. But first an introduction. Before there were movies, televisions, videos or DVDs, there were zoetropes. before they had movie theaters. By looking through the spinning slots, the blurred images suddenly become clear, leading us to understand how still pictures can seem to come alive. <laughs> there was also an easier to make version, the movie wheel, that requires a mirror to use. Years ago, my students made a giant movie wheel science exhibit for a children's museum. I see it! But you can actually make your own movie wheel in about half an hour. Here's what you need to make a movie wheel. Thin cardboard. A cereal box is perfect and it's a great way to recycle. But you can also use poster board. You also need a black marker, paper clip, and either tape or sticky glue. The sticky glue stick is faster and easier to use. Print out a pattern from sciencetoymaker.org in the movie wheel section. Let's get started. Rough cut out the pattern. That means cut fast, don't worry about accuracy, just cut a little outside the circle. If you're using a cereal box, cut one big side. The easiest way to stick the pattern to the cardboard is with a sticky glue stick. Rub glue onto the non-print side of the pattern. The glue is needed the most around the outside of the paper so it doesn't start peeling off. Turn the paper over and press it down on the print side of the cardboard. If you glued the pattern to the cardboard, skip the next section about taping the pattern on. Make tape donuts by rolling and sticking the ends together with the sticky side out. Later, you will cut notches at these places. The tape should be stuck in between where the notches will be cut, on the non-print side near the edge. If you hold the pattern against the light, you can see where the notches will go. When you have 12 taped donuts, one between every notch, tape the pattern onto the cardboard. Whether you glued the pattern on or taped it, fine cut the pattern and the cardboard on the circle. Accuracy matters this time. She said that she fell on okay. the one. Oh, I get it. Look, cut. cut out all 12 notches. The notches are what make the movie wheel work, so pay attention and really cut them accurately. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, that's perfect, yes, absolutely. You're lucky, I like you, Parker. <laughs> Don't forget to throw away all the little scraps. Look, I did it, I did it like this. Later, 
When you use the finished movie wheel, you will spin it and look through the notches. If the cardboard in between the notches is light colored, it will reflect glare into your eyes, making it harder to see. The color black absorbs almost all the light that falls onto it, including glare. For example, the highest quality window screens are colored black to absorb glare, so you can see through them better. So flip the wheel over to the non-print side and color the space in between the notches black to absorb glare. Put a piece of scrap paper under the wheel so you don't get marker on the table. While you have the marker out, put your initials on it. Use a finger or thumbnail to grab the inner wire loop of a paper clip and pull it out so it looks like a very long S. Bend one end 90 degrees so you can poke it through the cardboard at the center of the wheel. To avoid stabbing your other hand as you poke through the cardboard, I suggest you back up the cardboard with the round scissors handle. Once you're through, bend the paper clip back the way it was. You need a mirror to use the movie wheel. Oh no, not another broken mirror. You must look through the notches at the edge of the circle to shutter or provide a separation between the images or else all the pictures run together in a blur. Then, since the cardboard in between the notches blocks most of the light from getting through, you need lots of light illuminating the pictures. Often the sink of a bathroom is the perfect place to use the movie wheel. It usually has a big mirror and it has good light. Yeah, just spin it and look through the slots. You can look through it. To use the movie wheel, spin it with the darkened, non-picture side towards you in front of a mirror. Look through the notches at the reflection on the other side of the wheel in the mirror. It might help to close one eye. Train your eyes to focus on just one of the jumping guys. There is one way to get around the need for a mirror. Try facing someone else with a movie wheel. If both of you spin your wheels and look through the notches at the other person's wheel, you can see the movie wheels work. I am drawing out some different movie wheel patterns, which you'll be able to print out from sciencetoybaker.org. But you don't have to wait. You can print out a blank movie wheel and draw out your own movie wheels. Because of a phenomenon called persistence of vision, our brains are able to combine pictures so they seem to move. In fact, animation means to bring to life. Persistence of vision is what makes all TV, movies, and internet video possible. If you check the movie wheel section of sciencetoymaker.org, you'll find links to some educational videos I made about video. One is about watching a PBS television crew work. Another one is a visit to a college class where students edit their movies on a computer. They can chop out the boring parts, copy and paste, add music, and create their own movies. It's hard work, but fun, and there are jobs where people get paid to make movies and TV. I'm a mass media major here at Penn College. Um, what got me interested in this program was I was